Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I am Pei Sukling, a PhD student under the supervision of Professor Dr. Fazila Amsa in the School of Educational Studies at the University of Science Malaysia. Today, I would like to present a part of my research paper entitled A Bibliometric Review on Teachers' Professional Learning Community PLC between 2012 and 2022. A PLC provides a collaborative learning environment for the schools and the surrounding communities with diverse knowledge and skills. In addition to their vital role in promoting students' learnings and school success, PLC holds enormous promise for boosting teachers' learning. It has gained worldwide attention and has been intensively studied on a global scale. They contribute to UNESCO Education's 2050s desire and Malaysian's education blueprint. PLC exists in developing high quality teachers who can achieve their full potential. Why are PLC important? It is because professional development through education and training increase an individual capabilities and enhance workforce productivity. Goal 4 and the five primary fields of the Sustainable Development Goal SDGs are concerning professional development. Professional development through PLCs of teachers in education not only improves education quality but also contributes to the attainment of goals and SDGs. From 2012 to the present, many research reports on PLCs. However, to date, only a few systematic or bibliometric review on PLC have been performed. We found out that only three past articles on bibliometric analysis which related to the teacher's PLC at Scopus database. Therefore, the purposes of our study were to describe the state of research of the PLC of teachers between 2012 and 2022 to provide a comprehensive understanding of the literature, to serve as a helpful resource for the PLC research and development, and to fill in the gaps of the forthcoming literature review of teachers' participations in PLC in the 21st century. There were four research questions. First, what are the total and percentage of journal articles, short form JAs, and conference papers, short form CPs, published between 2012 and 2022. How does the research of PLC evolve and become distributed? What are the journals, authors and articles that have received the most citations? Lastly, what are the fascinating topics focused on by PLC of teachers in education scholar between 2012 to 2022? The method we used in this study was bibliometric review, also known as the science mapping review. The systematic review adopted in this study was the modified preferred reporting items for systematic review PRISMA standard. We extracted the data from the Scopus, Scopus database on the 3rd of November 2022. The search gave a result of 217 documents. A careful screening was made to ensure no uncertain documents were included. As a result, a total paper still remained at 217. Data from the Scopus database was downloaded in RIS and CSV formats. The RIS format file was opened in Microsoft Excel to calculate the frequency and percentage of published content and to create the charts. We employed Housing published and Paris software to calculate the citation metrics. The CSV format file was transferred to VOS viewer to visualize the bibliometric network. The results are presented according to the four research questions using quantitative analysis table, diagram, charts, and descriptive data such as frequency, percentage, and cumulative percentage are used to represent the data collected from the Scopus database. Our first analysis focused on the background of JAs and CPs. Table 2 showed that the types of documents. Table 3 showed the types of sources. 
Atticus contributed the most 94.47s to all the academic documents. It, is, it was shown in Table 2. At the same time, journals were the top among the, all the publication source types in Table 3. The capacity of the publication trend in the area of PLC was also analyzed using the document's languages. We found out that English was the predominant language with 97.7% or the overall publication of 212 publications. Next was Spanish. However, Spanish only reported 0.92% of total publications. The other three languages, which were Dutch, French and Lithuanians, these three languages only represented 1.38 of the overall languages. To answer question number two, we collected top 20 regions for the geographical distribution of PLC publications. And we categorized them into five continents. In these presentations, I present to you the top three countries that contributed the most to the PLC publications. USA contributed 66 publications. This was followed by China, 19 publications, and Australia, 16 publications. Table 5 showed the number of publications by year. Observe that there had been a rise in the number of publications between 2015 and 2019. The highest productivity 36 paper was documented in 2022, while the lowest was in 2015. Between those years, the number of publications grew in general. PLC article citations dropped slowly, starting from 2017 to 2022. The significant high hedge index of 12 for author was presented in 2016. On the other hand, fewer articles were highly cited from 2012 to 2014. The most citation was in 2020 and 2021, with 22 citations for publications. The graph showed the PLC of teachers in education publication has grown steadily over time. The blue bar showed the total publications. With 10 publications in 2012, it has Risen to 36 in 2022, the lowest publication in 2014 were with four citations only per publication. However, PLC article citation dropped slowly starting from 2017 to 2022. The red line showed the total citations. We also collected the top influential institution on PLC in education research. We have 20 altogether. In these presentations, I show you five most influential institutions. Out of the 217 documents, the highly yield institution was the Nanyang Technological in University with 11 publications that contributed the most to the publications. This was followed by National Institute of Education, University of Gaines, and the University of Canberra, also Zhejiang U University, with 10, 9, 6, and 5 publications, respectively. The top two institutions from Singapore represented the highest hedge index, which contributed high impact articles. This result depicted the institution in Singapore had developed in producing the publications with high impact. We extended our analysis of PLC in education to citation analysis. The output of journals, authors, and articles were, was ranked by the number of citations each year. Table 7 displayed the citation metric of the Scopus database. 2,279 citations were recorded for 270 retrieved articles with an average of 227.9 citations per year and 10 citations per year of PLC of teachers in education. Besides productivity, it is essential to understand the source 
impact. Therefore, the top 10 active journals were collected. Table 8 revealed that except for one, all the leading journals were ranked Q1 or Q2. They were published in top tier journals. The International Journal of Innovations and Creativity Change needs to be assigned a quota in 2022. Among the top cited scholars, seven were primarily associated with teacher professional learning and three with leadership. The Journal of Educational Change had the highest SNIP with 3.172 and had the highest citation impact. Next, using citation analysis, the most influential documents on PLC in education were identified. The top most cited article had an average of more than 47 citations each. The 2012 article published by Hyrule and Dingmo leads in terms of both citations and average yearly citation. To respond to RQ4, Research Question 4, we analyzed the citation network of 217 articles based on the publication documents by subject areas and most frequently used keywords. Has shown most of the documents were in social science area with 202, 93.09% and arts and humanities with only 23, 10.6% respectively. This made sense because social science studies covered PLC. The keyword from 217 PLC studies were represented by using word clouds. Figure 4 depicts the most prevalent emerging terms in PLC education used by author. Keyword were analyzed based on cluster years of this study. There were teacher learning, collaborations, professional development, school improvement, and leadership. Not only keyword from the author, we also collected the keyword by article and we generated by using word cloud. The teacher teaching keyword was the most used in PLC literature. The most exciting uh, discovery were the word engineering education, STEM, computer, mathematics, e-learning, climate change, and pedagogical content knowledge. The finding is logical since educators adopt all the 21st century element in PLC. According to the bibliometric analysis, although the procedure has been strictly followed, the study's findings are still subject to certain limitations. Firstly, the key paper index in other databases are most likely overlooked. The fact that only JS and CPs were considered data sources is a possible omission. Data mining were restricted to titles, abstract, and keywords rather than a complete text analysis. Some significant concepts and team development may differ from those produced via text data mining. We propose some recommendations. Firstly, the data coverage can increase by merging content from several databases, such as has Web of Science, Google Scholar, and Dimensions. Future study could include all publications, sources, and document types, Thirdly, other methods such as text analysis can be employed. We have come to the conclusion of this study. Firstly, in terms of paper volume, the general trend is upward. The research on PLC has become an area of emphasis. The study results demonstrate the increasing importance of teachers' PLC globally. Teachers' PLC have undergone significant change. Online education is growing rapidly. Virtual PLC will add in the development of qualified in instructors. It is recommended that policymakers develop virtual strategy 
to promote the teachers, teachers PLC. When considering research interests, the most common terms used by the author were STEM, Computer Climate Change, which align with the SDG 2030 goal. Teachers need to be aware of the world's demands and be ready with the virtual PLC. Lastly, the evaluation of PLC implementations, characteristics and competencies expected for the sustainability of teachers' professional education need to be, to be investigated further. Here I attach some result of the study, complete result of the study. Thank you for listening to my presentations. Any inquiry, please email or telegram me. With this, I end my presentation.